it felt like one of those types of movies where everyone was pitching in anyway, and then it felt like we also all had some sort of background. It felt very much like a, a family movie. Writing and directing this film, what was that experience like? Where did the inspiration come from? Um, you know, I've been writing this over the course. I love this New York sound. This is so New York. Oh, yeah. uh, I was writing it over the course of about 10 years, and at the start of COVID, it just became incredibly relevant and timely to me again, the idea that one thing changes and our entire reality shifts. And so I wanted to have a discussion about that without making a COVID film and making this during COVID was a challenge. Um, and then I wanted to add ghosts because ghosts are a part of my life. How are ghosts a part of your life? Well, you should watch the film and you'll probably find out more. Oh, okay, okay. You've done so many incredible projects. What was it about Next Exit that drew you to it? Uh, I think it was in it was the way in which it was being made. Um, I'd never done anything like that before. I thought the material was awesome, but uh, the fact that we were actually going to shoot this as a road trip and we were going to do a road trip physically and start basically at the start point of the movie and almost shoot sequentially as we moved across America uh, wasn't something I wanted to experience and. I was looking for a challenge, something that um, wasn't necessarily a big machine, but something a little bit intimate. Um, that you know, we were everyone had more than one job on this thing, and so um, yeah, those were the kind of things that kind of tempted me to to want to do this project. This is a unique film that everyone needs to experience, and I don't want to give it away. Um, but what drew me to this is um, Molly Elfman, the director. She is an incredible human, an amazing talent. Um, she wrote this, she put her, put her heart into it, and I, I just really am happy to be part of her vision, and that's what drew me to it, because anything she creates is something worthy of an experience. I would love to know a little bit more about how this cast came together. Um, Katie Parker, somebody that I've actually been friends with, we met on a project that didn't go about 10 years ago and then we formed a friendship and so I knew that she was right for this role. She was the first person I went to. Rahul, I knew from iZombie, I'm a, a friend of Rose McIver's. I saw her, I used to watch her show and I saw him and he was so charming. And then I watched him in Bly Manor and he just shattered my heart into pieces. Same. <laughs> uh, and I was like, I want him. And so he, he tells the story. but I went out to every single person that I possibly could to try to get him in the film and just so grateful that he responded to the material. And I mean, you reunite with so many people from your past, yeah. from iZombie, from, from Bly Manor. What was that like all working together, reuniting again? Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't planned that way. It was kind of like, um, obviously, Rose and, and Tongai. Um, and I, I know a lot of, every, like, I know Karen through the same group and Kate Barker and stuff. So, I mean, it, it felt like one of those types of movies where everyone was pitching in anyway, and then it felt like we also all had some sort of background. It felt very much like a, a family movie. I love a, a female writer-director. Is that something that you feel like you've, you've experienced a lot in your career? And like, is, there, is it like a little bit different in the environment when you're like working on a film like that? Um, it is definitely a, a, an experience that more people need to have. Um, and I hope that I hope there are more women who are strong like Molly, and she can be an inspiration for other people to tell their stories and to get out there and do this work. Um, yeah, it's awesome to have a woman director, and especially her. Molly is the best. I'm a big fan of Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time, and congratulations. Thank you. Consider subscribing if you like my videos, and if you want to talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comments section, check out the exclusive Discord available on my Patreon at patreon.com slash kmaldo. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya!